I'm very competitive, but I'm, I'm competitive with myself, I think. I'm still trying to find what the true mark of an artist is for me. And I don't know if that's winning a competition or if that's selling pieces. And I think the competition is fun because I never know what anybody else is going to bring. And it's such a wide range, you know, uh, array of things and arrangements that people can do that there's always the unknown, which is interesting to be up against. I pretty much have to be interested in the bird to begin with. So you couldn't say, Jennifer, can you carve me a screech owl? I'd be like, yeah, I can. But I have to be interested in the bird. So this bird, I got the idea for a long time ago that I wanted to do something with it because they're not native to our area. And, a, and probably five or six years ago, there was one that was between here and a gravel pit where we swim the dogs, and he lived there all summer. And we got to see him all summer, which is really rare for this area. So I named him Raleigh, of course, this real owl. And he flew away and was gone. And so when I knew I wanted to do an owl, I thought, well, what owl? And I thought, oh, I should do a burrowing because I've seen one in real life and because it's kind of special because he's been around here and he was rare, and so I should do that. So that's what got me interested in this particular owl. So figuring out which one I want to do is kind of where I start. Uh, honestly, I'm happiest when I have like four or five hours at a minimum to spend on it because once I get into it, an hour feels like 15 minutes. I just, I lose sense of time. So I, I really kind of, I'm so focused on what I'm doing. Um, and I think what drives me to finish one is I'm very visual. So if I get a vision as to what I want to create, I kind of don't stop until I get there. I've got to, I've got to reach that. I've got to make it real. And I had no idea the competition even existed. Like, not a, just decided I want to do it. Just started doing it. Yeah. So when I finished it, it's like finishing a good book, you know? Yeah. You're like, oh, I've got to do something different with this. I can't just like put it somewhere. So I got online and found the Word World Carving Competition, bought myself a plane ticket, went out, entered it. And I got second when I did that, so that lit my fire. Yeah. And then I saw that there's a whole nother world. I started this guy in August, and it took me until, geez, second week in April to finish it. And that's working every weekend, 12 hours each day. And when I come home, I take a breather, but then I usually carve about two hours a night. So that's as much dedication as that took. I, didn't, I couldn't do anything else. That and I'm an avid bird watcher. Go figure, right?